Tag TV brings you daily news bulletin from India. Breaking news and views from India. Good evening, welcome to South Asia Newsline. I'm Yeshi Chansom. Here are the top stories we are tracking for you on Monday, the 20th of April. India allows some economic activities as coronavirus cases rises to over 17,000. PM Modi assures Maldives of India's continued support. And US violates peace deal claim Taliban. And now for all the details. India's Health Ministry on Monday said that 1,553 new COVID-19 cases were reported in the last 24 hours, taking the total count in the country to 17,265. Meanwhile, economic activities partially resumed in some parts of the country despite a nationwide lockdown to contain the COVID-19 outbreak. Economic activities partially resumed in some parts of India on Monday, a day after Indian government allowed some public sectors to operate despite a nationwide lockdown to contain the spread of coronavirus. Health services, agricultural activities, financial services and public utilities are now exempted from restrictions. Government offices began their work with 50% of the workforce in many Indian cities. Vehicles were being sanitized and employees also underwent thermal screening at the Parliament House in capital New Delhi. बेसिक महामारी जो चल रही है कोरोना से डरे हुए हैं लेकिन सरकार का काम करना है सरकारी कर्मी हैं तो सरकार के आदेश के आलोक में हम आए हुए इंडिया हैड अनाउंस एन एक्सटेंशन ऑफ लॉकडाउन फ्रॉम अप्रैल 14 टू मई 3 हाउएवर इट अलाउड स्टेट्स टू रिज्यूम सम एक्टिविटीज ऑन अप्रैल 20th amid harvest season and economic distress in rural areas and in a lot of urban places as well where hundreds of thousands are left out of work हां अब तो राहत है अब तो राहत है वैसे भी कटाई तो मतलब दूर ही दूर होती है ना फैल करके सोशल डिस्टेंसिंग पे ही तो हो रही है कटाई ना मीनवाइल इंडिया करेंटली हैज 14175 एक्टिव केसेस एंड 543 डेथ्स बिकॉज़ ऑफ द ग्लोबल पैंडेमिक एज ऑन मंडे अकॉर्डिंग टू इंडियाज हेल्थ मिनिस्ट्री इंडियन प्राइम मिनिस्टर नरेंद्र मोदी ऑन मंडे स्पोक टू मॉलदीवियन प्रेसिडेंट इब्राहिम मोहम्मद सोली ओवर द प्रीवेलिंग कोरोना वायरस सिचुएशन इन द आइलैंड नेशन in a telephonic conversation, the leaders talked about the health and economic challenges the coronavirus pandemic poses for the Maldives. Indian Prime Minister Narendra Modi on Monday held a telephonic conversation with the President of Maldives, Ibrahim Mohamed Soli, over the COVID-19 pandemic in both the countries. The leaders in the conversation updated each other about the health and economic challenges COVID-19 poses and expressed satisfaction that the coordination modalities agreed between SAR countries were being implemented actively. Prime Minister Modi later tweeted about his conversation with President Soli and said that India will stand by the Maldives in this challenging time. This comes as India recently deployed a medical team in Maldives and also provided essential medicines in help the islands to control the spread of the infection. So far, Maldives has confirmed only 52 COVID-19 cases, out of which 16 people have recovered. Moving on, Pakistan on Monday confirmed over 8,000 COVID-19 cases after new infections were confirmed across the country. The increase in coronavirus cases came at a time when Pakistan, like its other South Asian neighbours, has extended its nationwide lockdown aimed at stopping the spread until April 30th. The number of confirmed COVID-19 cases in Pakistan rose to 8,509 on Monday after new infections were confirmed across the country. The increase in the coronavirus cases came at a time when Pakistan, like its other South Asian neighbours, has extended its nationwide lockdown aimed at stopping the spread until April 30. 
A large portion of the country's devout and poverty-stricken people is still resisting limits on physical and social contacts and their mobility. They fear it could result in more trouble in the economically fragile country of over 200 million people. सर खौफ तो है लेकिन इधर जो है ना बीच कोई भी नहीं इधर जो है ना बेरोजगारी भी है तो हम इसलिए माँ बाप है उधर जो है ना बूढ़े हम इसलिए जो है ना डिप्टी कर रहे हैं कि ताकि उनको भी जो है ना खाने पीने का कोई चीज़ है कोई पैसे मिल जाएगा हम इसलिए जो है ना इधर जो है ना डिप्टी कर रहे हैं कि पीछे जो है ना बच्चे हम जो है ना गरीब हैं With Pakistan recording a spike in coronavirus cases daily, the fear of large gathering during the upcoming festival of Ramadan in the Muslim majority country is also raising concerns. Muslims during Ramadan fast during the day and participate in group prayers during the appointed prayer times. In news from Afghanistan, the Taliban has shared a list of 50 attacks conducted by the US and Afghan forces following the US Taliban peace deal in late February to a local media outlet Taliban has accused Washington of violating terms of the deal thus adding another layer of complication to the already hindered peace process The Taliban has shared a list of 50 attacks conducted by the US and Afghan forces following the US Taliban peace deal aimed in late February accusing Washington of violating terms of the agreement Sharing a three-page document exclusively with Afghan media outlet Tolo News on Sunday the Taliban claimed that 33 drone attacks and air strikes were carried out against Taliban targets in 19 provinces from March 9 to April 10 The list also includes 9 attacks involving rockets and mortar shelling and 8 night raids. The Taliban said in the document they have lost 35 of their fighters in 17 of the incidents and they blame foreign forces for killing 65 civilians in 33 incidents. The US Taliban deal signed on February 29 is facing multiple challenges including a delayed prisoner release as well as a delay in the start of intra-Afghan negotiations which was scheduled in the agreement to start on March 10. Based on the agreement the two sides should not attack each other's bases and military facilities in Afghanistan and the Taliban should not allow other militant groups to operate in areas under their influence. A group of women and girls in Afghanistan are contributing to the fight against COVID-19 by making masks for local residents. This is the first time that a all-female group gathered to fight the disease in the patriarchal and economic impoverished society. Establishing a small tailoring shop in northern Saripul province of Afghanistan, a group of women have volunteered to make face masks free of charge. and distribute them among people to prevent the virus spread in their city some groups of men had earlier contributed in fighting covid-19 in afghanistan by providing face mask medical supplies or food stuff to needy families but it is the first time that a 10 member group of girls and women gathered to fight the disease in the patriarchal and economically impoverished society وقت کما دیدم نظر و دیگه کشورا بسیار حالات خراب بود دیگه به ارتباط ما پیش خود یک سوژه آمد کما چی کنم که بتونم بر وطن دارای خود یک کمک داشته یک احساس بسیار خوشی دارم یک احساس تندوسی دارم که به خاطر که میتونم از طریق همین ماکسی که من میدوزم خدمت برای جامعه خود کنم Afghanistan has been facing the spread of COVID-19 since mid-February and so far over 990 positive cases have been confirmed across the country. According to the health ministry, 30 patients infected with novel coronavirus have died and 99 others have recovered since the outbreak. Moving on to news from Nepal, a 21-year-old has been discharged from Seti Provincial Hospital in Western Nepal. becoming the fourth person to fully recover and test negative for the novel coronavirus post treatment the himalayan nation has 31 cases of coronavirus out of which 27 are active cases 21 year old raj bk was discharged from seti provincial hospital in kelali district of western nepal on sunday after he fully recovered and tested negative for the novel coronavirus post his treatment He tested positive for the coronavirus in the first week of April and spent at least 16 days at hospital. 
BK had returned from India and subsequently stayed in a quarantine facility where he developed the symptoms of the disease and was later tested positive for the virus. Sethi Hospital conducted a clinical test of his swab samples in an interval of 24 hours. The test turned out to be negative and he was later discharged. Kelali is one of the hotspots of COVID-19 in the country. Five people are under treatment for the virus. BK is the fourth person to have recovered from the COVID-19 in Nepal. Currently, there are 27 active cases of coronavirus in the country out of 31 cases that have been reported. While hospitals in many parts of the world struggle to acquire adequate amount of personal protective equipment for the healthcare workers, people in Bangladesh can easily buy them at street stalls amidst coronavirus lockdown. Bangladesh has reported 2,456 cases of coronavirus, including 91 deaths as per latest reports by Johns Hopkins Coronavirus Resource Centre. As hospitals in many parts of the world struggle to acquire adequate amount of personal protective equipment or PPE for the healthcare workers, people in Bangladesh can easily buy them at street stalls. In a market in the capital city of Dhaka over the weekend, local residents were seen at a stall choosing the PPE and haggling with the vendor. Police at checkpoints could also be seen wearing PPE. At other parts of the city, residents practice social distancing while waiting for their turn to purchase food from a truck that goes around neighborhoods to sell them at a lower price. Police also stopped various rickshaws from operating as the lockdown continues. Bangladesh has sent troops out on the streets to help enforce a shutdown on travel and restrictions on gatherings. India illuminated its iconic monuments with oil lamps on World Heritage Day to express solidarity to those working hard amid the ongoing countrywide lockdown imposed to curb the spread of the coronavirus. Amid the ongoing countrywide lockdown imposed to curb coronavirus pandemic, the Archaeological Survey of India illuminated heritage structures and lit candles and earthen lamps to celebrate a rather somber World Heritage Day. The iconic Red Fort, Qutub Minar and Humayun Stone monuments in Indian capital New Delhi were illuminated with oil lamps and candles on Saturday to honour police, medical staff and other workers battling at the front line to contain the deadly virus. The World Heritage Day is observed on April 18 with an aim to create awareness among the people for conservation of cultural heritage across the world. हमारे जो वॉरियर्स हैं कोरोना वॉरियर्स हैं जितना हमारा पुलिस स्टाफ है मेडिकल स्टाफ है उनको सपोर्ट देने के लिए उनको सपोर्ट करने के लिए हमने ये प्रज्वलन दिया प्रज्वलन का प्रोग्राम रखा है ये हमारे कुतुब मीनार में लाल किला में हुमायूं स्टोम में हम लोगों ने तीनों जगह में करा है कि जो आज समय इतना मेहनत का काम कर रहे हैं उनको सपोर्ट करने के लिए Indian Prime Minister Narendra Modi had last week extended the nationwide lockdown till May 3rd as the number of coronavirus cases spiked despite a three-week shutdown announced last month. The total confirmed cases of infection in the country crossed the 17,000 mark on Monday with over 14,000 active cases of coronavirus. Well, that's the way it was in South Asia this evening. Before we conclude the top stories once again. India allows some economic activities as coronavirus cases rises to over 17,000. PM Modi assures Maldives of India's continued support. And US violates peace deal claim Taliban. Now viewers can watch the show on SouthAsianewsline.com. You can also visit us on Facebook.com slash AsiaNewsline and follow us on Twitter at AsiaNewsline. That's all in tonight's edition. We'll see you same time tomorrow. Good night. Subscribe Tag TV YouTube channel and press the notification button.